Hi friends, it's Tammy in my world in OKC. And I've been telling you guys in a couple of videos that I was waiting on my Tim Holtz. Waiting on my Tim Holtz. Waiting on my Christmas Tim Holtz. Well, guess what finally come? My Christmas Tim Holtz. Yay, I'm so excited. So I wanted to share with you guys what I got. I ordered a lot of this from Only One and they are, they are amazing. Their prices are so good. Now they do take a little time to get here. Um, but I think it was worth the wait just for the savings. Um, but that's okay. Um, I want to share what I got. So first I'm going to go through the stuff that was last year items. Um, I didn't have them or if I did have them, I used them and I wanted them again this year. So first thing I got was the snowflake charms with the crystals on them. These are so cute. And I actually, I'll open this up and show you guys. These are so pretty. It's got the rhinestones on there, so it's sparkly. These are so gorgeous. Now, I thought I ordered two of these, but I only got one. So, I am going to have to check to see. Maybe I changed my order. Maybe they didn't have it. Who knows, but I need to uh, double check just to be sure. Because if I ordered it, I want it. So I got that. And then I got these from last year. <clears throat> now these are really heavy. They're a lot more heavy than I wish they were. Um, because they're really going to drag down a page. I'd have to use them on a cover or something. But they are so cute. They look like a, a wax melt. And they have the Christmas. A thrill of hope and a weary world rejoices. I always believe in the magic of the season. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of year. These are so cute. I like those. And then I had to get the label stickers. I love these. And I like that they're raised. It's just like you had one of the label makers and, you know, type those out yourself. And then the file folders. They're the mini file folders. I thought these were really great because they match some of the papers that I'm using. So I got those. I had to get a wallpaper, a collage paper. This one is the Christmas. And I actually ended up getting two of these. I liked it that much, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Maybe I got two of these when I thought I got two of these. I have no idea. I have to check. <laughs> <laughs> but I did end up with two of these. But that's okay, because um, I'm sure I know somebody who can use that. <laughs> and then I got the little um, quotes, the little Christmas quotes. Now these match what's in the sticker pad, in the sticker books, which I got that, I'll show you. But these match. I'll actually set these off to the side so I can show you. And this, I know I've had this before, but it's gorgeous. It's the three different size cards. And I love these. These are so cute. Let me, uh, my computer was trying to go to sleep. And that's everything in there. And I've actually used a lot of these already in some of my Christmas making. Um, and I've used so many that I wanted to get an extra pack just before they're gone and I can't find them. And I've had this before as well. This is the worn wallpaper with the ephemera pieces. Love, love, love. So cute, that's what you get. There's your pieces, and you get like a little washy borders there. And that's everything from last year. I'm gonna leave this out because I'll show you what that matches. Uh, let me dig in and see. Here it is, and let me make sure, yeah, this is this year's, and this is the sticker book. And you guys can see some of them, they match. See? Turn it sideways so you can see. But I thought I have to have it because it matches. And of course it has more of the Tim Holtz words, which I love that. Gotta have the words, right? Okay, and some more that I got that was this year. I got a lot, you guys. I, I, I went a little wild, but I wanted it, so I grabbed it. These are the mini textiles or tiles they call them and there's all the little tiles 
I thought these would be great for collaging or something. And then I had to have the Christmas people. So I grabbed those. There's all my family. And then I had to have the ephemera pack. Every ephemera pack that he came out with this year, I had to have. I love the ephemera. And there's everything in there. And this one here probably is my favorite. It has a tree and all the poinsettias. And I love all the green, just green and red. Lots of green, red, and tan. I love that. That just is going to work so well with my Christmas. And these are some nice bigger sizes, which I like that. And then I had to have the deco sheets. It's like I wish he had new paper he would come out with because... Uh, I would I would snatch it up for sure, but these are a way to get at least some Tim Holt paper. These here, I got these, and they have the red, gold, and green for Christmas, and it's nice and sparkly, but it doesn't feel like rough, like some of the glitter paper. It's actually smooth. But here is like these backdrops. I especially get these just for the fact that this is like his new paper. If you're going to get any stuff that he has that's paper, it's going to be these. So I love this. So many nice pieces. And this is a great big pack. This is this is like 20, yeah, 24 um, pieces. So I love that. And then the, let's see, what do I do next? Let me see. I want to show you all a stamp that I got. Now this was from Stamp Timber. And this was just an exclusive for the day. Um, but I picked this one up. This was Stamp Timbers. But I did want to show it. Now, this was a separate order than the rest of the stuff. But I did want to share it because it was some new Timmy that is new. And this actually came with a stencil this year. So, I love that. And if you got the one from the year before, these two bigger stamps actually go like side by side, which is nice. And then, of course, I had to have his Santas. I love these little Santas. I saw somebody make on his um, page, Jim Holtz page, where they made, like, postage stamps out of the Santas. And it was, it, it sold me. I was like, I must have it. So I got the Darling Christmas. And this one I have used. Can't tell. They clean up so nice. And then I got the bottle brush uh, trees. I thought these would be great on some Christmas cards or winter cards. So I picked those up. And let's see. Let's just keep on with the stamps. Um, now he had probably about, I think it was 8 or 12 new stamp and stencil sets this year. There was a lot. But I just picked out my favorite and went with that. So I got this one here. It's got the Christmas tree with the snowman. Hopefully y'all can see that. And then the stencil behind looks like a sweater and snowflakes. Love that. And then I had to pick up the Santa, the laughing Santa. And I love all the bold ones on this. And I like the back, the um, stencil on this one. Hopefully there's not too much glare. I do have my ring light on. Oh, let me show these the back side. You guys can probably see that a little better. I love this. And then this one. I love this one because of the big bold words. And I like the trees and I like the stars. But I looked and looked because I wanted this stencil in the bigger size. Or the full size. But I'll do with, you know, just getting a half. But... I really liked these trees, and I would have liked to have the big stencil with all the trees, but they didn't have that one. And then here is the back, so you guys can see a little better. And then I had to have this one. This one just reminded me of kind of like a vintage Santa with the tree, or uh, vintage, because of the Santa, the tree, and the deer. And then I love the Merry Christmas in the background. Super cute there. And then there's the the back so you guys can see it a little better. See, isn't that gorgeous? And then I had to have this stencil set. 
I just had to. Had to have them, right? <laughs> it's a three-pack stencil set. It's the smaller ones, but you got the poinsettias, the um, pine cones, and then this one is the hollyberry. But I love those. I can't wait to use them. And then I did get some uh, dies and some um, embossing folders. This one I have used already. I've used a couple of them. This I've used already, but he has a big tag, a medium tag and a small tag. And this also comes with your reinforcers, which is great. You get three different types of reinforcers. And these are nice because you can actually put ink in the crease here. Um, the Tim Holtz ink off the pins or the spray, any of it. If you just want to put it on with a paintbrush or whatever. And it will actually emboss on your tag when you die cut it. And I like when I was watching his live and he was using these. Like this big one doesn't actually fit in the package. So it doesn't fit, you know, that great in your envelope, but, and it comes outside the envelope when you get it, but he said he did that because he didn't want to cheat anybody on getting a smaller tag when he had, he wanted this size tag. And I thought that was great. It's like, he's so smart. And I, I like that because this, this is like my favorite one. So, and I just stick it in there anyway. It's like, see, you um, you don't close. But I just bent this a little bit just so I can make it closed. Make it close. And it still fits under the, the tab. So you can just do that. But I got those. I love those. I already used them. I got this die set. And this comes with the three dies to do all the colors. So you can do this plaid look. I had to have that. And this would be good for any time, not just Christmas, any time. And then I had to have this embossing folder. And it's the two I got were 3D embossing folders. This one is the, like the branches, the Christmas tree branches or fern branches. You guys can kind of see it there as I'm moving it. This really comes out pretty. And I used some of the, oh, where is my wax? I forgot to show you all my wax. I just got that too, but I used it, so. <laughs> um, the wax that I got, the luster wax, when you do this and you rub a little bit of that luster wax on there, this is so pretty. It's got an iridescence to it. And it's so pretty. And then I did also pick up the grit paste, the snowfall grit paste. This, you can put it on. Oh, I haven't opened this one yet. Ugh. Oh. Let me, here's this one, the grit paste. And this actually kind of looks like snow when it dries. And you can put this on and actually put like a little bit of glitter or, um, you know, some kind of sparkle on top of it and give it a little more sparkle. So I wanted that with all the Christmas stuff I had. So I grabbed it. And then I got this one that looks like a tree cut. And I thought this was gorgeous. I actually saw him on his live make a Christmas, or well, one of his makers uh, card out of this, and it was like, mm, okay, I want to try that. It's so pretty. So that's what I got. It was a huge Tim Holtz haul. Um, I usually don't go this crazy, but I did not want to lose out like I did last year. Last year, I only bought like a couple little things, and I missed out on everything. And I got lucky this year because they did have some stuff from last year. Um, that had come back. Um, so I was really glad about that. And I do have to say, these like charms, these are like one of my favorite things. And I didn't get these last year, and I really wanted these bad last year. So I was happy to have those. And I'm really happy with all my stamps and dies. It's like I can't wait to get playing some more with everything. So let me know what you're finding. Let me know what you got. Um, let me know if you guys got this stamp timber stamp. It's gorgeous. I love it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for taking a peek. Bye, my friends.